Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. I am standing outside one of my rental properties. It has three houses and a commercial shop. And this one is now vacant. So we can go inside. I have not been inside this property since we first bought it and did our inspection. So I have it unlocked. I'm gonna do our first walkthrough on this video. We will see what we find, because this has been an interesting property. So we'll do that very soon. Of course, check out investformore.com for much more information on flipping, buying rentals, wholesaling, being an agent, all that good stuff. Here you can see the rest of the property. Um, they did leave a few things, which is okay. Mostly we wanted them out. We did a, a cash for keys, which means we paid them um, $500 to leave uh, just to get them out to avoid evictions. So this property consists of that commercial shop, which is paying rent and technically legal right now. Um, we'll, we talked about that in other videos, which I'll link to below. That house way over there, we had an eviction set to happen right before coronavirus hit, and that canceled all evictions, so they are just kind of staying there for now. We've tried to offer them cash for keys and they have not responded. And then there's another house, you can kind of see it back over there, behind the commercial shop that uh, is vacant as well. So we got two of the houses vacant. We'll show that one in another video. Um, but this one, right now, we will go see and see what kind of shape it's in. I won't lie, it was a little bit scary the first time I went in it. So we'll see what it looks like right now. We are on a super busy highway, which is actually a good thing because this is zoned commercial. We can use it as residential because it's grandfathered in, but if someone wanted to redevelop it, it's basically an acre and a half on prime commercial um, real estate. So that's kind of cool. But if we keep these as rentals, which we might do, it's not the best location for a rental, but it still might work out. But we bought this whole thing with all four properties for uh, 410,000 last year. And it's probably worth, you know, if we sold this house individually and it was in decent shape, each house is probably worth 150 to 200,000 and the commercial property is probably worth 300,000 um, maybe 250 to 300,000 so it's a really good deal but there's reasons why <laughs> it was so cheap because they were paying literally 500 to 600 dollars a month in rent when rent is actually more like a thousand dollars minimum for um, these houses so this isn't too bad um, I think well, this is our kitchen, which isn't much of a kitchen, but there's a sink and a stove. But it's not completely destroyed. It has some interesting floor features. The windows are obviously very old. Here's your living room, I guess. We do have a very, very old furnace, or space heater, not even a furnace, as you can see. So there's no central heat in this one, which I knew. One of the other houses also does not have central heat, but then actually, ironically, the smallest one does. Some damage there. And so, like I said, with cash for keys, we offered them $500 to move out in a month. And that was right before coronavirus hit as well. And they did not move out. They couldn't find a place. Because of coronavirus and everything going on, we're like, okay, that's fine. You know, we can't really evict you anyway, so we'll give you another month to move out. And we really weren't expecting them to move out, but they did. So that was actually fantastic that they were able to get out. They left a few things, that's okay. And we gave them back their deposit too, even though they left some things. Even though they could have broken a few things, we have no idea what the property looked like when they moved in. And I'm guessing it wasn't that nice. So, <laughs> um, they were happy. And they did say that... Um, police department was actually harassing them to leave, which I don't know if that's legal or not, but they were, and that's what helped push them out. We did not have anything to do with that. We haven't talked to the police lately, so that was interesting. But we have two bedrooms, a living room, kind of the kitchen area, and then your bathroom right here, which is teensy tiny and has no sink. Huh. <laughs> but, oh, there's your shower. That's a good shower. I don't think I ever was able to get into this bathroom when I first saw it. 
I think I was walking through and I tried to open the door and like, oh no, nope, someone's in there. So I'm like, oh, okay then. Um, so obviously this is gonna need some work if we decide to re-rent it. Um, but I mean, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> we will take a look at the garage now. But yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. It is noisy, that's for sure. So over here, it also comes with this garage, which I heard through the city got hit by a car. So I'm not sure exactly where, but a car, I guess, came off the road and hit that part of the garage. So. So pretty. All right, we'll see what this looks like. Now this, well, you could call this whole house a murder house, I guess. Just a going joke, I'm not saying there are actually murderers in the house, but a lot of my flips have crazy weird rooms. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's got a concrete floor. It's relatively, oh, maybe that's where the car hit it, right there. <laughs> relatively closed in except for that giant gaping hole in the corner of it. Um, has garage doors. It smells like smoke. I don't know if they had a fire or if they have a some kind of heat source. Oh, you can't see much in here. Oh, is that a fire? I know you can't see, sorry. More holes back there. So here's the back of the garage, and I think this is where the car hit the uh, garage. And you can see how close we are to the highway. I mean, it is right there. And maybe over there too, you can also see where the garage got hit, but we'll see just how close you are as the car drives by. But that is, uh, I guess a somewhat dangerous place to work if cars are just gonna fly into your building. Here, we'll check out the outside of the building, which is not in very good shape, as you can see. The windows have seen a little better days. It does have a nice natural pond, though, so that could be a selling feature. And around the front, the these all have separate lots, so that is another nice thing, too. Although I bought them all together with a 1031 exchange, so I don't know. I have to hold them at least a year and rent them out in order to sell something from a 1031 exchange and then I would pay lots of taxes if I did do that and didn't exchange into something new. But it'll definitely be much more valuable having each property on its own separate lot. And it one and the city said too, if we get things cleaned up, they would let us redo all the lot lines pretty much however we wanted. And this technically is a city street, which I've mentioned before, but the city would abandon that street and give it to us if we clean up everything as well. So there's definitely some opportunity to have this whole corner triangle um, one piece if someone wanted to develop it. And here's the front of the house. The roof actually doesn't look horrible. Obviously it needs some paint. The gutters aren't amazing, but it could be way, way, way worse. And I wonder, that's interesting, it has that outside spigot, if that's hooked up to the house or if it has a well. We'll have to do some research on that and find out. And then you can see there's our garage right there. Um, but we finally have one vacant. We're gonna go check out the other one next, so we'll have that video too as long as we can get in there and see what that one looks like. And eventually, that one over there will be vacant as well um, if we can get them out or do the eviction. But I think they actually have less stuff over there, which is a good sign. And for the time being, these guys are legal, they're paying rent, so we'll uh, let them stay there as long as the city is still okay with it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have liked the videos. We love all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, all that good stuff, so keep those coming. And um, We'll be back with more videos soon.